So, with three venues already behind us, this cracking little circuit at Brands Hatch provides the action for the fourth meeting of the championship. And it is rather cloudy here today, but we are not expecting rain, so it shouldn't affect the day's racing. Hello, and welcome to Nick and Aiden's YouTube channel. I am Nick, and we are back on Tucker 2 Touring Cars, Brands Hatch Expert Championship. Uh, as is the situation from uh, the second video of this, things are not going well. Things are still not going well. They haven't gone well from the word go on this game. So, we are in desperate need of a win. We need to win either the sprint or the main race, in my opinion. Because uh, otherwise, I think it's game over. So, we're going to go full on the accelerator. We're not going to break at all for uh, turn one. Because it is vitally important to make up as much places as you possibly can. Because this is such a narrow circuit. It is hard to get a gap. And then they just swerve in your way. Get out of the way! This bloody dickhead. Well, our start could have been so much better. But that has cemented it. Oh, nearly spun it there. I don't know if you saw that. The car was ready to go. I'd like to take it a bit more easy, but it is so vital that I get... If the win is possible in this first race, I need it. That will take the pressure off the second race. That is my way of thinking. But as I proved before in previous races, so easy to get it all wrong. Especially at the... You know, as we go through this section, the more high speed, sometimes you, you just snap it left or right and the car just, it floats away from you. Ah, John Cleland, he left a gap there on the inside. He thought he was safe. But no, I was right there. Oh, we've managed to get a bit quicker through this, that corner, but not this one. This one is giving me troubles. Look in the mirror. John Clennon came right back at us through that corner, and I've got maximum downforce on. That should be, you know, a corner that we're good at. But it seems to be through this section where we hold all the aces in the pack. And it's a little hard. It's a little hard not to not to start to get uh, excited here because I am closing in on the leader. I'm taking it easy through all these corners. Uh, well, I mean, that was a racing incident. I don't want to take all the time in the world because these laps are short. But um, slow it down to a speed where I'm not going to spin. And look at the, those. The, I'll just reiterate again those two corners. Then look at the gap between myself and the um, and the Nissan. 
But then that advantage that he had completely gets wiped out in that last sort of sector of the race. The race circuit, sorry. Wow. Um... Oh, God. Please. Please. I need this win so bad. Right, break. Oh, my God, it's not turning. Oh! Oh! <laughs> A moment of fortune. All of a sudden, the, the car's gone to like jelly. What's happening? Oh, my good God. It's just not responsive. I've done it. I've got the way. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. I was about to explode when I went into a spin there. And then I came back on and I just hit the Nissan. <laughs> What did I do in life to deserve that good fortune? I've got no idea. Here's a rundown of the final place. Beat Reed by less than one second. And that's his first sprint win this season. <sighs> You're trying to sack me. You're trying to sack me, Renault. Uh, yes. That's the way it's done. Prove myself. A bit of a victory parade here. Yes, congratulations. We haven't seen that too often during the series. Now onto the feature race. Now, hopefully, that's took some of the pressure off. And, the weather has stayed very and there's no requirement to continue. So, we're guaranteed to get past this circuit. A good result needed. You know, it'll be ideal. We can get another win. All of a sudden, we've just turned it around. So, same strategy once again. We're not going to break for this first corner. These starts are so important just to claw as many positions as you can. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened there. I've got no idea what happened there at all. I was avoiding a crash with these two idiots. Which managed to get themselves into a bit of a pickle. How come I'm spinning every time I hit something now? Oh, well, this is... Well... This has just reversed all our good work from the first race. Two spins within one lap. Fifteenth place. Uh, I'm going to try and think positively because, I mean, at least we see what the next track is. But, um, you know, from the from the joys of, of getting a victory 
to two incidents in the first lap of the main race. We are doing a good job though in in catching up the pack. The uh, the leaders will be quite a long way into the distance, I I would expect. Oh god, here we go. It's the blocking society. Oh fuck you know, I may as well come into the bloody pit. Terrible start. But we will uh, get this pit stop out of the way. So we can focus on you know, the rest of the race. And back out in 15th place. And they're the leaders. We've, we've been lapped. The pit stop takes so long. And I've got my teammate behind me. Who's on the, like a different... Um... Oh my god, what happened there? Oh, you... Motherfucker! It's broken! So what, what tyres am I put? I haven't got a clue. I don't even, I don't know what is happening. Oh, this is pointless. What tyres have I got on? Oh, uh, fuck off. I'm done with bronze hatch. No, I ain't doing it. On to the next race. Here's the final positions. I'm done. Great race Until the next time, laters.